Philadelphia is an iconic American city brimming with history and culture. From visiting monuments of the nation's founding fathers, such as Independence Hall, to exploring the trails and galleries of the Philadelphia Museum of Art, the city has something for everyone. There are lush river walks along the Delaware River, or pleasant strolls across the Schuylkill Banks boardwalk for nature lovers. Foodies will find a range of delicious restaurants serving dishes from around the world, while shopaholics can enjoy perusing both budget-friendly stores and upscale boutique shops. Stay tuned for nine of our favorite spots in this incredible city where the past meets the present. Let's dive in. Number nine, Fairmount Park. Fairmount Park in Pennsylvania is one of the nation's largest city parks. Spanning more than 2,000 acres, the park encompasses a variety of green spaces and attractions, including historical mansions and cultural sites. Popular activities for locals and visitors include biking, running trails, kayaking down the Schuylkill River, sports fields, playgrounds, and picnicking. The historical mansions were once owned by Philadelphia's prominent and wealthy families, these beautiful homes are now open to the public, offering a glimpse into the life of the city's elite in years past. Grand estates include Lemon Hill Mansion, Woodford Mansion, and Mount Pleasant Mansion, all of which showcase stunning architecture and gardens. The Please Touch Museum, a popular children's museum, is an interactive wonderland that allows kids to explore a variety of art and history exhibitions. Hands-on activities like playing with remote control cars, shaking maracas, and dressing up like famous characters from movies and TV shows keeps kids entertained for hours. Number 8. Elfrith's Alley Elfrith's Alley is one of the oldest residential streets in the United States and a reminder of Philadelphia's colonial past. Located in the city's historic district, it is a narrow cobblestone lane lined with quaint brick buildings that have been around since the 18th century. It earned its unique name from the blacksmith and land developer Jeremiah Elfrith and was originally developed to mitigate overcrowding in the city center. Guided tours explain the history of the alley and Philly's colonial past and are a great way to kick off your visit to Elfrith's Alley. The Alfreds Alley Museum is located in a preserved dressmaker's home from the 1700s and displays antique furniture and authentic colonial garb. The alley is home to several businesses and attractions, including a hat shop, a museum, restaurants, and stores selling crafts and antiques. A visit to Alfreds Alley gives visitors an authentic glimpse into Philly's history, from its architecture to its charming cobblestone alleys. Number seven. Rocky Statue. The Rocky Statue is an iconic symbol of Philadelphia and one of the city's most popular tourist attractions. Located at the top of the famous steps of the Philadelphia Museum of Art, it was created in 1982 to commemorate Rocky Balboa's journey from being a small town boxer to a world champion. The statue stands nine feet tall and weighs more than 1,000 pounds. It is made entirely out of bronze and depicts Rocky ready for a fight with his arms raised in a victory pose. People come from all over to take photos with the statue, making it one of Philly's most Instagrammable places. The base features inscriptions honoring Sylvester Stallone, the actor that played Rocky in the movie series. The surrounding stairs are also a popular gathering spot for people who want to recreate one of Rocky's famous training montages, where he ran up the steps as part of his workout routine. Each Independence Day, tourists and locals alike gather around the statue to enjoy the nationwide celebration filled with live music and fireworks displays. Number 6. Citizens Bank Park Citizens Bank Park, home of the Philadelphia Phillies, is a state-of-the-art baseball stadium located in South Philadelphia. Opened in 2004, it replaced the former Veterans Stadium and has since become a beloved landmark for local sports fans. It's well known for its unique design, a three-tiered seating bowl that provides stunning views of the playing field from almost any seat in the house. Behind the scenes tours are available even while renovations are underway. Guests are treated to a brief presentation on the park to kick off the tour before getting plenty of steps in exploring the massive park. Visitors will step into the Phillies dugout, the Diamond Club, the Hall of Fame Club, the Media Room, and the Broadcast Booth. 
In terms of amenities, Citizens Bank Park has it all. There are unique touches throughout the stadium, from its two-story press box to its full-service kitchen and bar areas. Take advantage of one of the numerous interactive elements, like pitching simulators and interactive kiosks. There are also several restaurants and bars spread throughout the stadium, including Harry the K's Pub and Grill or Bull's Barbecue. Number 5. Rodin Museum Located on the Benjamin Franklin Parkway, the Rodin Museum is an extraordinary showcase for art lovers. Visitors can explore more than 20 galleries featuring beloved works from Rodin's greatest works, such as The Thinker and The Gates of Hell. The museum also houses a beautiful outdoor sculpture garden featuring pieces like The Burgers of Calais, a moving work that depicts six citizens surrendering themselves to King Edward III during a siege in 1347. In addition to its wide array of sculptures, the museum also offers tours and special events like lectures, film screenings, and family activities. There is even an on-site shop where you can purchase books, cards, and other items inspired by Rodin's work. Number 4. Eastern State Penitentiary The Eastern State Penitentiary has housed some of the nation's most notorious criminals. Built in 1829, it was designed with a revolutionary approach to punishment. Rather than focusing on retribution, the idea here was to create an environment in which inmates could be reformed through solitary confinement and meditation. The penitentiary is best known for housing infamous gangster Al Capone during his eight-month stay in 1929. Today, visitors can explore this remarkable landmark and its long history of crime and punishment. Tours include access to hallowed cell blocks, theaters that show classic films set in a prison, as well as immersive exhibits featuring interactive audio tours and multimedia displays about notable prisoners and Pennsylvania's criminal justice system. The Eastern State Penitentiary is also home to renowned artist Steve Powers' Love Letter Mural Project, which adorns the brick walls of the compound's massive yard. With its combination of haunting beauty and historical significance, this site is a fascinating intersection between criminality, justice, and early attempts at prison reform. Number 3. Independence Hall This revered national heritage site was the center of America's fight for freedom from Britain. Constructed between 1732 and 1755, it was the signing place of the Declaration of Independence in 1776, as well as where George Washington became the first president of the United States. Today, visitors can explore the hall and its many artifacts that tell the story of America's struggle for independence. The main room in the building features stunning architectural detail, such as its tall bell tower and soaring wooden ceiling beams. Here, you'll also find a collection of original documents, including Thomas Jefferson's draft of the Declaration of Independence and John Adams' rough draft of what would become the U.S. Constitution. The park surrounding Independence Hall also has several statues paying tribute to prominent figures, such as George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, and Betsy Ross, who were instrumental in the nation's birth. Number 2. Philadelphia Museum of Art the Philadelphia Museum of Art is one of the most iconic and beloved attractions in the area. This sprawling museum houses collections from across the world, featuring works from artists such as Picasso, Matisse, Monet, and Cezanne. It also hosts exhibitions on a variety of topics, from culture to science to fashion. The grandiose building was designed by architect Horace Trumbauer and is situated at the front of Fairmount Park. Wander the galleries taking in some of the world's finest artwork, or get outside and explore the gardens, fountains, and sculptures that populate the grounds. The museum also makes for a great venue, hosting events throughout the year, including concerts and film screenings in the summer months. Classes are also held here, teaching everything from painting to photography and all things creative. Number 1. Liberty Bell this beloved symbol of American independence is located in Philadelphia's historic Independence National Historical Park. It was crafted in 1753 and, despite gaining its iconic crack a few years later, went on to be displayed around the colonies to rally colonists to the cause of freedom from Britain. 
The Bell enjoyed a resurgence in popularity thanks to the campy, loosely historical adventure flick National Treasure, but visitors might be disappointed to learn that there are, in fact, no colored bifocals hidden in the crevices of the historic Bell House. The Liberty Bell has come to represent America's struggle for independence, as well as its dedication to civil rights and justice. It stands at the center of a beautiful park where visitors can enjoy its majestic beauty or learn about America's fight for freedom through exhibits, tours, and educational programs. Though it no longer rings due to its famous crack, visitors can take photos and admire this timeless symbol of liberty and justice all year round, a beacon of hope for future generations. That does it for today's video. Do you agree with our ranking? Let us know in the comments. And if there are any cities or countries you'd like to see featured in future videos, don't hesitate to sound off below. If you enjoyed today's video, let us know by tapping the like button. And if you're eager to consume more inspirational travel content, consider subscribing to our channel. Ringing the bell will enable notifications, so you're always the first to learn when a new video drops. Until next time, happy travels!